I'm going to address your standing column wells in the context of uh, not a residential application so much. I mean, you can use this for residential. I don't mean to imply differently. Uh, but I'm very interested in this for uh, lead buildings, for commercial buildings in general, uh, for schools. Uh, these are my, our prime tar targets because we feel that there is a huge market for it, a huge market. And uh, this is all about, ultimately, the cost of drilling. If you can get the amount of drilling down because your heat transfer is a lot better, that's the name of the game. This system will do it. So that's why so many people are interested in this. And yet there are a lot of secrets hidden, uh, or a lot of things that aren't known or aren't clear. And there is a lot of case-by-case -case bases for decision making. Um, I'm going to try to leave you with some rules of thumb, uh, but recognize that every geology, every hydrogeology, will be a different situation. Uh, yeah, not, not to beat this to death, but uh, I think it's ironic that so, many that so much of the geothermal work is being done under the auspices of green building. But yes. As Steve said, I think it is fairly commonplace even for standing column wells for the bleed to go down a storm drain. So in terms of wasted resource, there's a lot of that going on, even though green building is ostensibly a big part of it. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, geothermal is ostensibly a big part of green building. Right. I, I mentioned, I mentioned yeah. commercial, but I know it happens. I, I mentioned residential, but I know it happens in, in commercial. Commercial. So, so what I'd like to get away from is that very concept of a, a dump. So uh, in looking at this, we would want to size the system so that we don't uh, need to dump. Or uh, another way of looking at it is if we could, of course, increase the utilization of that water, this would be a good um, second effort, so to speak, than dumping. All right? If we could count on a certain amount of use of that water. Um, and I'm going to come back uh, over and over again. I'm going to beat you over the head with this idea of thermal relaxation. That is, controlling this well field so that we give the water that's in each of the boreholes the opportunity uh, to return to its equilibrium temperature. We hit, the, we hit the system hard, typically, with a building load. We run it and run it and run it. We give it time to relax back to its uh, quiescent value. That's the operation that I'm looking for in these standing column wells. If we can do that, if we can operate in that way, we won't have to bleed.